Hi guys, welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're gonna talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Canary Channel, which is the OS build 25336. This Canary Channel build was released alongside with the dev and also the beta channel builds, so a video about the beta channel build will come up a bit later. This build will also be offered to Windows Insiders with ARM64 devices, and if you want to learn what is added and what has changed in this build, watch the video until the end. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. What I can tell you from the beginning is that this build is not a big build, it has a few improvements and a few changes and also I have to remind you that the Canary channel builds have a limited documentation from Microsoft so there could be also some hidden fixes, improvements that we don't know about because they are not documented by Microsoft. First of all in this build Microsoft is stating that they improved the performance of search within settings. Also users with two or more discrete graphics adapters with no integrated graphics can now choose which of the discrete graphics adapters is considered high performance. If you navigate to settings, system display graphics and default graphics settings and select which of the discrete graphics adapters you would like to be designated as the default high performance GPU. Also Microsoft added a limit of 20 most recent tabs under settings and multitasking to show tabs in all plus tab and snap assist. And also this canary build includes a feature that was not mentioned in the release notes, support for opening advanced display settings by running MS settings advanced display inside run and it will be opened up in the new settings app. A big shout out to Phantom Ocean 3 for discovering this feature. This is a feature that doesn't require Vive tool to be enabled. And also Microsoft is continuing to test out certain visuals for the widgets button and how the widgets display on the taskbar with the left align icons. Again a hidden feature discovered by Phantom Ocean 3. You're gonna have his Twitter link in the pinned comment below if you want to follow him for more hidden features. But as you can see when I have my icon set to the left, I will have my full widgets icon instead of a collapsed icon. And I think this is pretty interesting, but of course I'm not sure who is a fan of this because from what I've seen, users prefer a collapsed icon that doesn't fill up a lot of space from the taskbar. But then again, this is a pretty interesting thing that Microsoft is testing. So regarding this Canary Channel build, this is all there is to it, or this is all that Microsoft documented and users found out. So if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Jumanian from TechBase, until next time, have a nice day.